What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks. Today, I'm talking about panning your stereo tracks. So if you're like me, um, maybe you haven't noticed yet that if you right click on your pan knob, you get all these different options. So you got stereo pan, balance, and binaural pan. If you weren't looking for those, um, you may not know that they exist, like I didn't for quite a while. Um, when I started using Logic. And uh, this defaults to balance, which if you're using stereo tracks, like stereo synth tracks, like I've got pulled up here, where you've got different things going on in the left and right channels, um, you have effects going different directions um, with a very intentional stereo width to them, you need to be aware of this because you may uh, actually be kind of killing the sound that you created with those synths if you are using the balance knob. Um, so just for reference, if we go up here to this bass track, it's just a mono track, um, a mono signal, and um, if I play this um, by itself, I can either pan that signal to the right or to the left, same signal, same exact thing, just coming more out of one speaker than the other, right? On a stereo track, you can see this stereo synth, um, even here in the waveform, you can tell there's different things happening. And I did this on purpose for this uh, demonstration, but I've got a higher octave in uh, coming out of one side, uh, the left, I believe, and then I've got a lower octave coming out of the right. So those are very different things. And um, if I try to pan this with the balance knob, listen to what happens. So the way the balance knob works on a stereo track is that it's it's moving signals in relative motion. So uh, as you shift to the right or the left, the opposite signal is essentially disappearing. So I'm going to play that again. And you'll listen, or, and you'll hear that as I move to the right, the left side is going to vanish. So we've basically cut off if you know if we're doing hard panning, um, but we've cut off half of the signal. So we're only getting the right signal coming out of the right, which is where we started anyways. But um, if you want to do some panning with a stereo track, obviously you want to keep some of the stereo goodness that you've developed in there. You know, if you've got some effects that are kind of swirling around and uh, maybe some delays that are moving left and right. Um, if you try to pan those with the balance knob, you're going to be chopping off or at least greatly diminishing the, uh, the opposite side of your signal. So whatever, whichever way you decide to pan it, you're losing information from the other side. Um, and for intentional, um, legitimate stereo tracks, that is not probably what you're going for. So right click and you'll see stereo pan is the first option. Now what this does is it gives you independent control over your left and right signal. And um, the way you control those is with these little white knobs here at the bottom, you see I can actually control left and right independently of one another. And I'm going to mess around with that a little bit so you can hear the difference. So now what effectively I'm doing is I can send the 
signal from left and right to either speaker. So I can I can have um, my right signal coming out of my right speaker and also add the left signal to the right speaker so that I'm not losing all of that stereo width. So you have to th think of these as, as two separate knobs here, though the each white um, indicator here is representing the, the left signal. So I'm, I can pan the left signal over while still maintaining the right signal being in the right channel. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, I'm going to play around with it just a little bit more so you can really hear what's going on as I move these knobs around. <laughs> So that way you can totally maintain a, a lot of that stereo width um, it, while also moving your instrument you know, off to one side. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I, I really like to have um, a lot of stereo width as I pan things out. I tend to be pretty hardcore with, um, you know, I'll, I'll hard pan almost everything, either left or right, other than you know, vocals and uh, kick drum and, and whatnot. Um, so I like to be able to do panning um, even with some of these stereo tracks, but obviously you don't want to use the balance knob and and chop off half of your signal. So you may have run into that. The answer to the solution to that problem, um, if you've been trying to pan your stereo tracks with the balance knob, is the stereo pan. Um, so give that a try. I think that will probably solve a lot of the problems you have had with panning. Um, and then just real quickly, the other option in here is really interesting. I don't uh, use it very often. Um, this is binaural pan. And what it does is it allows you not only to set the signal um, within left and right, but also depth. Um, so I'm going to play around with it here for a minute, but um, essentially you can set, uh, if you grab the, the little uh, circle here, you can go either close or far, and then as you move this triangle, um, you can set it anywhere in uh, 360 degrees. So you can set it behind you, you know, consider yourself the center of this position. So it would be uh, in front of you, it could be behind you, to the right, to the left, etc. And then also distance from you. And I'm going to play around with that. It's, it's really cool. Um, I haven't, haven't had a lot of uh, reasons to really dig into this too much, but I think I'm going to start or at least try to incorporate this in some new mixes. So let's give it a listen. I think perhaps the coolest part about that is when you set it behind you and uh, move the circle to the outside um, because it really does have the effect. I don't know what sort of algorithmic sorcery is going on um, uh, under the curtain there, but or behind the curtain, I should say. But uh, it really does feel like it's behind you and distant. So, it, I mean, that the desired effect, I think, works really well. Um, especially if you're doing like soundscapes and uh, if you were writing for a uh, film score or something like that, I could see where that would be really useful. Anyways, I hope that this has been of benefit to you. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Have you been using binaural pan? Um, if so, how? And leave a like. Let me know if you liked the, the content today. As always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>